everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're going to be making some closet doors. What's a closet door you say? Well come take a look. They're super easy and anybody can make these and it only takes a couple folds. Uh, so let's get to it. So basically your closet door operation operates like this. It opens up like that and then it opens up like that. And for some reason, these reminded me of bifold closet doors, you know, the old fashioned closet doors. So that's why they're called closet doors. Um, I just need a name to distinguish them from other things that I make. So you, you may, I may, I may make some crazy names as we go, as you may already know. Um, okay, so basically this is the very simple concept. I have created two writing spaces on the inside for extra writing journaling space. And this uh, botanical book page already had some pretty designs on it. So I just attached one of these little doodads we made the other day. And this was kind of cute too. And I just attached a doodad, okay? Uh, so it closes like this. Oh, and I also put, I just tore this, uh, Roman numeral off a page and I thought that looked kind of cute on there just for a little inspiration. And here I did some liquid pearls and inking all the way around and the color that I used was aged mahogany which is a plum with a little bit of brown muting in it and I just really wanted to explore new colors. It was time for Pam at the paper outpost to get into her dye drawer, dig around and pull out some different colors. So this is a, a different color thing. And um, what else did I want to show you? I wanted to show you that, okay, see here, I don't know if you can see it, but right there I blopped some black dye on it by accident and I went and actually hid it with the liquid pearls. So you can sometimes use that to help disguise little issues if you have any little issues as well. It's another good little use of it. Okay, so that opens like that, closet doors close, and then I decorated the front with some more liquid pearls and a sticker. So that was pretty easy to make and the rest is all just the botanical design of the original book page. So if you'd like to see how to make this guy, stay tuned. Let me just give you a quick little tour of um, the next upgrade. This one is, um, I, I don't want to say a little bit more complicated. It's not complicated. It's still easy, but uh, it has one little twist to it. And this one, when you open your closet doors, it has the two outer flaps, but then it has pockets and it's all pockets inside. And how cute is that? So you can load these little puppies up and I have three things in each. I have a little tiny tag. Okay. And I put in there with a little word on the back and I put a little photo in here of this really cool guy driving a motorcycle. And uh, I put a little extra journaling page in here with a little word from a book on top just for fun. And uh, I thought that was a nice way to give back some more journaling space. And um, as you go through here, there's uh, of course other little tags and little things that have been tucked in here and uh, more journaling cards. And that is all the way through. You don't belong here. Go away. And uh, this is, I just got to show you this guy. He's so cute. Don't look diddy. It's an owl. Okay. See, very cute. Um, uh, okay, so <laughs> you know who you are. Oh, and I also put some uh, more. I was playing with uh, text from books uh, since that's, I, I do book page stuff. Um, and I tore out some words from books and you can put different words. They don't even have to mean anything. Um, just random words uh, as inspiration or prompts. Parison. Who knows what parison is? I don't. Um, so I'm hoping uh, somebody will Google that and we can all learn what Parison means. Um, I would Google it myself. Um, not that, I'm not that lazy, but I'm using my phone to record this so I can't break away and, and Google it. So, uh, but I also put some just random uh, words down here and they don't even have to be perfect. This is five cantos. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm, I don't know what that is. Uh, I could make it up like maybe um, you got uh, six cantos of beer and five cantos of beans. I don't know. Um, introduction. Maybe it has something to do with music. I'm not sure. Uh, Voltaire. That sounds very uh, distinguished and we don't know what that is. And half of the world word enlightenment. Um, just for fun. Um, so things don't have to be exact or perfect. Sometimes half a word or half a sentence sparks more interest than a whole word or a whole sentence. So there you go. And of course, just little uh, the tags I put in here we made the other day and some uh, like uh, reproduction of a front of a postcard kind of cute and more writing space so okay i went around with faux stitching you can also sew these um, but just remember because if you're sewing on a fold that's going to be open and closed a lot that's going to weaken your seam so you may or may not want to do that um, so just think about that okay make sure that you lengthen your stitches yes 
lengthen your stitches so you don't have as many hole pokes through which keeps the integrity of your paper stronger in the long run aha okay got that i just put some pictures on here and i just put some little uh, black dots with a black magic marker there and there just to show um, uh, continuity and uh, lots of blue ink and this is broken china ink whoop, whoop, whoop. where'd you go broken china there you are this guy whoop. broken china distress oxide and uh, okay so then on the front um, it looked a little plain so I just doodled I doodled and then I colored in the doodles with these things that I haven't used in a hundred million years um, but I had a bunch of these jelly roll pens and uh, these are the ones with a little star on the side, on the little cap. And uh, they, they almost like a glitter pen. They work like a glitter pen. I don't know if you can see it on here, but um, very cute. And it has some nice pop to it and very easy to work with. Uh, so I thought it's time I go through my drawers and pull out stuff that I haven't used in a hundred years and get it out here so you guys can see it too. See if it's something that you're ever interested in playing with. Okay, and the back I just left plain. So uh, uh, some of these are fat and some are thin, basic, uh, construction is thin uh, super pockets stuffed with three items each is going to give you some more thickness so um, they're a little chubbier and what you want to consider is if it's super chubby maybe you want to have it be a removable from your book page your journal page uh, you could clip it on you could hang it from the top of a page um, you could tuck it into a pocket or into a tuck uh, things like that so Think about that. If it's a chubber one, you may want to make it a removable. You don't have to. It's totally up to you, of course. And uh, this one, uh, it doesn't matter. You could either keep it um, as a removable or glue it down. And I guess this one I'm making as a removable because I put something on the back. But if I wanted to commit, I would just glue this back and then it would open like this. Okay. So you'd have to like open the first door and then get into your closet. Okay. All right. But when it's uh, free, it just automatically opens like this. See the difference? Okay. Um, okay, so let's make basic first. And this one is pretty easy to do. So all you're going to need is a book page. And you're going to need a, a bigger book page, like um, 8.5 by 11 or 7.5 by 10. Do you, use something in that range uh, if you want something that's going to be about this size. Okay, so let's take a look at that and let's pull out tearing ruler and decide where we want to go with this. Well, I think this is really pretty and attractive here. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to work with this part of the book page and I'm just going to eyeball the straightness here and tear it and uh, hope to goodness I did it right. Okay, so here's the big rocket science brain surgery part of this very difficult craft. Are you ready? Hold on, hold your breath. We're going to fold it in half left to right. Okay, and then we're going to just crease this down. And I would recommend creasing it down well. If you have a bone folder, great. If not, uh, use the back of your scissors or something. Just give it a nice little crease. Uh, finger tool, good fingernails will do the same thing. Um, uh, but it's going to make a uh, thinner uh, foldable thing because this one, uh, can they can get a little thick with us, especially the pocketed one. So, okay, we've done that. Folded it once. That was it. Now all we're going to do, fold both towards the inside. And we're going to take them close to the center, but not exactly at the center. You're going to want to back off about a millimeter or two, and that's going to allow for easier closing. All right, so you just fold those down quickly. Give it the old bone folder treatment. Yep. Bone folder treatment. Boy, this bone folder has been through World War III, hasn't it? Yeah, look at that. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You've, you've got your basic construction. So it's a very easy fold. I'll just review that again. Fold it in half. Open it up fold them into the center and there you go ah, so not so bad right all right so now what we got to do is we got to decorate them so let's put in some uh, writing paper so there's a uh, writing space for people to write on and here I'm looking at the inside what's dictating what I'm going to do uh, how, and how I'm going to decorate this personally is um, there's a lot of blank space here a lot of blank space here um, and some text I don't mind the text but I would like maybe more um, dedicated writing space so I'm going to do that with some stationery Okay, I grabbed a piece of stationery, and it doesn't have to be stationery. You could use regular paper or, um, you know, some. You, if you have line stamps, you can use a line stamp and just put it on blank paper. You could just line stamp these as well with your big line stamp block. Um, but I thought this was kind of pretty, so I thought I'd use it, and i just show you how I measure it to get it in there. Okay, so we're going to use the non-measuring measuring way, what I call the quick way. So we're going to put that there. I know this is my fold here, so I'm just going to, nope, I want to turn it over. 
Uh, so I'm working on the back so I can see my pencil marks. Okay. So I'm going to put a little mark there, just a couple of millimeters that way of the fold and just above the fold this way. And then I'm going to grab my tearing ruler. I'm going to look for approximately straight. And okay, we got that. So now we have this mark up here. So I'm just going to tear this down. I'm going to go straight, straight as possible. Are we in? Are we in the shot? I think so. Okay, so now I have my template and now I know how big to make this one. And, oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. And uh, I've got two of those now. Um, so I can put those right there. That looks kind of cute. And uh, so now I'm at the inking stage. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to decide on what colors I'm going to use by looking at the back. There seems to be some pink going on in orange, but I think I'm going to lean towards the pink because I just think that's sort of pretty. And I think that will pop against these uh, cocoa colored, coffee colored pages a little bit. So let me locate the pink. Here it is. And let me locate the pink dauber. Okay. Pink dauber has been located. Okay. Now I'm going to ink and I think I am, yeah, I, I think you guys can still see pretty well there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Don't rub. Dob. Don't rub. Dob. I love to rub. What can I say? I'm a rubber. <laughs> I'm a rubber. All right. So the, uh, the torn edges actually pick up the color better. Just something to keep in mind if you really wanted to grab the pink ink. Pink ink. And uh, see if you can see that, but it really grabs it better than the non-torns. So you could tear all the edges and it would grab it nicely all the way around, but I don't mind some torn and some non-torn. Okay, so that's good. And, but then I think I want to ink this whole thing. So let me show you the quickie cheater way of inking a large surface quickly. You don't have to do it this way. You can totally do, 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 do and go around and that's fine. But if you're doing a video and you just want to show how to do it fast, sometimes you can just put it on angle and we do the cheater ink. Let me back out so you can see this. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to go around. And you're saying, but wait, the edges are square and that looks kind of wonky. I know. We'll fix that. Don't worry. It's all right. Okay. It's all going to be okay. All right. So the way we fix that is we do what the I call the half halo. We're just going to bank it around the corners. Bank it around the corners and that softens the blunt square edge there. And we're going to bank it. And I'm using this lovely little magazine so that I can flip to a clean page. And uh, this is a great way to keep your items clean. I got, I can go to town for years with this, ma this magazine, this catalog actually. Okay, I'm going to ink the uh, creases. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Now we got to do this side. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to do cheater inking. Ready? I think you can see this. Okay. You could do brown on this one instead. That would look very nice too. Very vintage. Very rustic. Very primitive look. But I'm just going with, I don't know. I'm already looking for spring flowers. Where are my spring flowers? I'm, I'm done with winter. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm in Florida and I have no right to complain. But I am. I'm kind of done with winter. I'm ready for spring. <laughs> Call me crazy. Um, anybody else ready for spring? Hmm? Uh, it's going to be a while, but we'll do the best we can. Well, we can at least make flowery stuff with our journals in the meantime, right? Okay, so there we go. We have that. We have that. We're covered. We're covered. We're covered. We're good. Okay, let me move that on the floor. Okay. Ah, okay, so we have this, and now we're just going to pop in our little um, writing plates here. And what I'm going to use, I just came to the end of my, my first glue stick, which is awesome because it took me through several journals and uh, a lot of ephemera and embellishments with you guys. So I'm cracking a new one here. You don't have to look at that old, old uh, nasty one anymore. Ah, look at how nice and clean and pristine. This is the glue stick I'm using. And we'll just crank it up. And actually, I do need that back. Okay, let me get it back because I'm gluing. And uh, I have a lot of pink here, so I'm going to turn the page and... Just going to ink down, ink down, not inking, I'm gluing. I know what I'm doing, I'm gluing. <laughs> okay, let's get this here. Now this is kind of inky, so I'm going to flip that. See how handy that comes in? Just get rid of all that mess. Now let's see if what end is up. We have no idea really on this side, so it doesn't matter, but 
Yeah, that's that's nice like that. We'll leave you like that. Okay, let's do this. No, let's do this. Yeah. I'm just going to put the dark edge up at the top for no particular reason other than I thought it might look nice. Okay. Finger tool. Finger tool. Okay, good. Clever that up so it doesn't dry out. Where's my other one? Got to be close. Here it is. All right. We're ink and we're gluing. We're gluing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Things are coming together. And let's put this baby down. All right. We're kind of aligning it with the other one beside it and equidistant in the middle of the thingy. And that's not exactly cut straight, so I have to kind of play with it a little bit, but there we go, we're in. Okay, okay, Bob's your uncle, all is good. Okay, so now we have two, these two areas here. Now, I could easily just keep going with this and ta tear off some more uh, writing space for the person, which would be very nice. But I could also do some uh, different things over here. I could put stickers or draw things or put stamps or all sorts of things. So let's see what we got. Okay, here's what I found as I rummaged. I found this pretty little sticker. Uh, I got these from AliExpress at somewhere. I have no idea where. Um, but they, I think I was going to put that there. And I found this, this uh, little book cover, uh, Songs of Sonnets of Springtime. Uh, so I thought I'd put that there, and I thought that might look kind of cute. So let me ink this one up a little bit. I believe this also came from AliExpress somewhere. I don't know if that's a sticker or not. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, let me ink it first. Uh, should we inky pink it? We could. We could do brown. We could do pink. Totally up to us. Let's do brown this time just because uh, we want to try something different. Okay. And these are a little bit done in brown too. So this is my brown one. Yes, I see my brown string. It's not supposed to, not supposed to rub there. Um, okay, so I'm just going around just to give it a little light pop from the background. Okay. There, I think that's going to show up nicely. And this one, you can even you can even ink these. Well, that's kind of a weird thing, isn't it? Do you belong there? I think you were meant to be cut off. Where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? Oh, I don't think I... Oh, oh, you're separate, so it's okay. Yeah. yeah, let me just get rid of you. Okay. Going around, going around. Just a little, just for a little flare. Have it stuck to my finger now, of course. Okay. Got that. Still stuck to the finger. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Peel. Peel. Somehow if you say the word, it, it makes it happen better. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we're sticking this down. I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be in the middle-ish. Doesn't really matter. It can be a little cockeyed, it's okay. All right, there we go, have that one. And this one apparently is a sticker. Yeah, it is, look at that. Okay, let's hope this is a good sticky sticker. All right, oh, no, no, no. I guess we're gonna go there. That's where you, you're at home. Okay, you've landed. All right, so we have this. Okay, so we have this, we have this, we have this, and we have this. Now I might say, you know, I'd like to maybe make this a little bit more interesting, do some fun things with it. Um, and I think I would like to put some words on here. That's what I feel like it's calling for, words. And uh, I want to show you that little trick I did. Not really much of a trick, it's just more of a tearing ruler, tearing ruler thing. Let me move this. Don't go far. I may need you. Okay, was this it? Oh, it was one of these books anyway. Okay, so I just grabbed a random book page from a novel, um, and I thought this was kind of cool, but I think what I'm going to do is just pick a line, and uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I've probably worried about it a little bit, but oh well. Okay, no, there's a good line up from front. Okay, so I see some words I like. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I've got good clearance so I get the whole... What, can you see this? Let me zoom in. Yeah. Uh, okay, better. Let me move over this way a little bit. Okay, see that? How I'm just putting it above the, the text below it. And got that. Okay, so you want to give a little elbow room there, but then do the same thing on the other side, a little bit above it. No, oh, I'm going to do it this way so I can uh, make sure I'm giving it clearance. Okay, so what do I have? I have this now, and I'm just going to look here, and I'm going to look on the back and see what I ended up it with and pick out some words that I like. There's that fourth canto again. See that? Anybody know what that is? That's a, that's a something, obviously. Um, maybe it has something to do with um, operas, maybe? Okay, I'm guessing. All right, here we go. Where's my, my page? All right, so here, I think I, I like Frere's, Frere's poem. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm, I'm thinking maybe that means brother's poem. I don't know. Uh, but since there's a nice contrast between it and the background, I'm not even going to ink this one. I'm just going to glue it. So I'm going to use my glue stick. 
And I'm just going to let the person ponder. They're going to head scratch about what Frere's poem is. Maybe I'll put it on a little bit of an angle to really, really mess with them. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I have some other things here, but I think that's, that's enough for inside. I think for some reason that just looks good. Okay, so we have these, and you could do something with these, but I'm going to maybe focus on the front. And here I am dealing with orange, and um, wasn't exactly my plan, but I've got it on my page, so I'm going to work with it. And maybe this is a way that I can introduce some more of the pink feel back to the, uh, the closet front page. And I'm going to use this. Whoop, I should probably back out a little bit for you. Sorry. And uh, this is Liquid Pearl's, what color is that? Flamingo. And I think that's a good color to bring in the pink here. And you can either uh, put the pink dots as borders on your uh, botanical images. You can follow the shape of the outside of the image. You can follow the shape of the inside of the image. You can put a dot on either thing. But since the orange is so strong, um, I'm going to follow, I'm going to put random, I'm going to do something different this time. I'm just going to do random dots along the outer border. Yeah. They're kind of floating. Maybe this is pollen dusting off into the air. Yeah, I could, I could buy that. Okay, that might happen. Um, and how about you? You, you just, you know, you have like a border around you. And maybe put a little bit here, just following along this guy's line. There we go. And maybe just to uh, finish it up, um, we could do, oh, let's just do this. We'll just do our classic L-shaped border. Okay, we'll do that. And maybe we'll do some here in the center. Whoop, I got an air bubble. Okay. And uh, maybe a little L-shaped corner protector. I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, and that maybe just um, maybe just three over here. One, whoop, two, three. Maybe one there. Okay. Now we seem to go for a few more. All right. There we go. All right. So we've got some bling on there, and that's looking kind of cute. And uh, I'm going to set that below here. So if you could just remind me that that's where I put it. It's down here on my trunk below my desk drying. So it's out of my little, my little grubby fingers way. Okay, so I'm going to put my little line of words aside because we might need those. Okay, let's get moving here. Uh, all right, so we're going to make the next one. And the next one is the folder. Okay, this is the, uh, the, the one with pockets. Oh, oops, sorry. This is the one with pockets. Yeah, it opens like that. Do, do, do. And um, let's get to it. So let's put our prototype here and let's get our page. I'm going to use the exact same page. This page, let me back you out a bit so you can see. Okay, this page is a little um, too wide this way. So I am going to just nah, drop that. Okay, come back here. Okay, you're saved. All right, so I'm just going to knock some of this off. You don't need all that. Nope. Okay, we can save that big piece for something else. And basically what we're going to do, okay, that's kind of pretty. We're going to fold up to make our pocket. And that's really the only additional uh, fold you need to make in order to do um, the pocket design. Okay, so now you're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to fold it in half, left to right. And then we're going to open it up. And then we're going to go to the middle, I'm backing off about a millimeter or two off the middle fold line for both things. We're kind of aligning them as best you can using bold folder or whatever you got handy close by. Can't find the bold folder right now. It had feet. And uh, okay, there we go. So we want to check for uh, nice folding. Something's getting a little bunched up there. Yeah, you want to make sure it folds nice and really Really crease those corners. That'll work better for you. Okay, so now we're going to grab our handy dandy circle punch, the one inch circle punch. And we're just going to go and put some thumb holes in here. Very easy. I, I punch about a third of the uh, circle to make the thumb hole. Can you see that? Okay. Yay! Yay! Okay, very easy. So now we're going to ink. And um, let's get that, mm, here we go. Let's get this guy back. Just move you out of the way a little bit. We're gonna do some fancy, schmancy inking. All right, let's, let's do brown this time. All right, here we go, brown. This is Walnut Stain Distress Oxide. Doo -doo. Okay, and 
and I'm just going to, I'm going to do it closed because I want to ink what's going to show. And then I'm going to open it to do where the thumb holes are. Okay. Now I'm opening to do where the thumb holes are. This is called quickie inking. Yeah, quickie inking. I'm blunting my corners just a little bit. Okay. Blunting. I uh, forgot that part. Blunting. Okay. So it gives you that look. And then I'm going to fold again and do these little creases because that always makes it look cute. All right. You can slow me down if you want to. Go ahead and pause me. I don't mind. Rewind me. I don't mind. Okay. I'm going to do the back because this might come out. So let me reload with the ink. And we're going to do the cheater inking so it doesn't take me too long on camera. June. Okay. June. You can do the slow way too. You know, dun, 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 dun. that looks, that's a completely different look. And I think that look is good too. Um, just this works fast for the camera. All right. All right. We'll do the little folds. And one more. Jump. Okay. There we go. All right. We are good. Now let's get in there and glue it up. I'm going to take the little uh, art glitter glue with the metal nubby point, which gives us a nice thin stream of glue. And we're going to glue here, a nice thin stream, here in the middle where the folds are. You're going where the folds are. And you want this thin stream so that you, oops, you want to maximize your pocket uh, size by not putting too much glue down. Okay. Okay. So there we go. All right. Now we're just going to do this. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Okay. All right. There we go. And that should be very good. And we're just going to check for uh, integrity and everything is folding well. I think I can move you again now. And Okay. So we have a basic construction of our pockets done. And now um, we can decorate them up a little bit. So let's do that. Playing again with these uh, pretty gel roll uh, pens that I have. Pull one of these out. And I think I'm just going to, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some random flowery kind of marks here. And this is a, basically a glitter pen. And maybe I'm just going to color these berries here and give it a little pizzazz. This is more of a muted design. Uh, let's see what else can we got. We can do the background if you want to. I think I might just follow this one again a little bit. I thought that was kind of cute, that little concept. And maybe following this one, this, this nice color. I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of coppery to me and I like that. Um, okay, we'll do that. And how about you? We can come around here and follow you. Oh, we'll follow you all the way around. Why not? Okay. And maybe we'll follow the back side of you. That looks kind of cute. And uh, maybe down like, like that. Um, okay. And uh, okay. So let's decorate inside a little bit. Okay. I found some uh, pink stationary paper and I thought I would just make one of these each for each little pocket. So let me make sure that these are going to fit. Bring them in a little bit from the pocket size. Grab tearing ruler. Give this a quick tear. Once you got your first one, then you got your template. And you know how to fat to make the others. Okay. And we can do another one out of this one. Do do do. Okay. And I need one more, one more. Oh, two. Okay. Tearing ruler, approximating the right size and shape. Okay. And just need to make you a little skinnier. Let me just get in there. Okay, we're good. Okay. So now we can start loading. So let's put you in there. And I could go around and ink these as well, but I'm getting a little short on time. So I'm just going to tuck them in here. And if I have time, I will ink them, but I'll just want so you can see 
what lovely little things we can tuck in here. And how about I got some little interesting doodads. These are just uh, little um, tickets I got off of AliExpress somewhere. They were already pre-made. Thought they were kind of cute. Maybe I could put these in here. A little butterfly. He's kind of cute. And Mr. Neutral. We like that. And um, how about a, f a pinky flower? That's kind of cute. All right. So we could do something like that. You could put more in there if you like. I think I'm going to maybe... What am I going to do? Okay. Uh, okay. Where's that marker? Not the marker. This guy, the copper guy. Yeah. I'm going to do some more copper accents on the front to give him some pizzazz. And uh, what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just give him a little bit of that going on. And uh, I think I'm going to follow the edges of this leaf down and follow the edges of this leaf around. And maybe this leaf. Maybe just follow this guy around. That looks kind of cool. And uh, I think I'm going to put some words or something on here. Well, that's kind of pretty. What did I do with that? That's kind of neat. He's sort of in the same color family. Do I want to stick him right on top? That might be too much, huh? But maybe I could use part of this. If I could find my scissors. There they are. Okay, we're coming down to the wire here. Get, get on with it, Missy. All right, okay. Get that sticker off. Get it off. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the pressure. Hang on. <laughs> of course, the next try, once I go off camera, it comes right off. Okay, so maybe I'm just gonna stick him on there. Give just a little extra color on there. I think that's kind of cute. And uh, maybe do we want to put one at the top? Maybe. Okay, a little extra color at the top there. This guy's already peeling off, so we can we can just grab him right just grab him okay we got him we got him we're good okay uh maybe we want to go straightish at the top we have something to do one of these deals okay and that's looking kind of cute already huh yeah i think that's kind of cute okay so let's go back in here and where did that guy go here um i think oh yeah i was going to do a word Okay, so this is a nice neutral page, and I had a word. Where's that? Where'd it go? Are you a word? No. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tear off these words here. There's some very cool words in this line, if I can get it the way I need to get it. Okay. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, we're good. I got the word cultivated. I thought that was kind of cool. Cultivated and renaissance. That's kind of cool. I'll get rid of these other words. We don't want your words there. No, go away. Go away. Okay, now get our little glue stick. We're going to slap these puppies down. Okay. Cultivated. There we go. Um, and renaissance let's put you down we might get cut off here so i'm going to say if you like subscribe and share that if you found value here that would be awesome we've got a podcast and a facebook page and pinterest and twitter and instagram if you want to follow us there there's lots of links down below the video to find things and um, if you uh, want to see any of these uh, items uh, you can buy them on amazon at the links below as well and um what else Okay, so there's some basic designs, and I don't know how long this is going to let me go, so I am just going to wrap it up here, and I hope you like these little guys. They were a lot of fun to make, and uh, let me pull this guy out too. Um, okay, so have fun making your closets, and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Take care, everybody. Bye. Have an awesome day.